is out of timeouts. Atlanta has one remaining. George Hill will inbound in the front court. Trey Young, 34 points, has kept the Hawks within striking distance throughout the second half. Now you gotta, you gotta put pressure on a man out of bounds. Just do not allow him to pass the ball into the post or into the corner in the left side. Now this is smart, run some time, that's how you get that foul. That was good. Maxie's only three for six at the line. Well, the big thing right now is talk about the foul shooting. Philadelphia is 10 for 17, they've missed seven foul shots. And then you look at Atlanta, Atlanta is 13 for 24, they've missed 11 foul shots. So the foul shooting, you cannot count on it right now. During the regular season, he shot over 80% and that one goes two possession game, four point lead. Seth Curry out of the game. Feibel checks in. Now Ben Simmons is going to come back in here for defense. George Hill right. will go to the bench. A lot of credit to Maxie here. If Philadelphia holds on and wins this game, this young guy came off the bench early, scored 15 points, was 5 for 12 from the field, 1 for 2 and 3, but he's done an excellent job in running things. It was Shake Milton off the bench in game two. Yeah. Tonight, it's the rookie Tyrese Maxie nice. hitting both clutch free throws. 16 points, playoff career high for playing just one minute in game five. Trey Young down the court, missed the shot. Capella with the throwdown. Now they'll press full court. You gotta pre press the, the passer. Inbound to Harris, and a foul committed by Collins. Three point game, 13.3 on the clock, and you got Tobias Harris, an excellent free throw shooter. Although in this series, he's just six for nine and has not attempted a free throw here tonight in game six. Pressure games, when the man takes the ball out of bounds, you like to put the pressure on him. Do not allow him to see the passing lane that they're running a play for. So you want to make it difficult to get the ball past the defender. Well, the difference here in game six from game five, made free throws down the stretch by the Sixers. Yes, yes. Maxie missed one a couple of trips earlier, but he just made two in a row. Harris just got the first one here. Making it a four-point game. Atlanta does have a timeout. But that first one was huge. Five-point game. And Dave McMillan will use his final timeout for 13.3 remaining. Well, think about Harris. Four excellent games scoring over 20. Struggled in game five. Comes back strong today, 22 points. He gets nine for 20, two for three and threes, and makes two big kicks. Big foul shots here. The resolve of this Philadelphia team yeah. maybe too. After what we saw in games four and five, the collapses to come back and play the way, the way they did here tonight in game six. Well, think about this. When you have your three best scorers in this series, tonight, Embiid at 22, Harris at 22, and Curry at 24. Now, at the other end, in this series, you know, Trey Young has been a monster. Okay, he's got 34. Bogdanovich has seven. And Collins has seven, and they're your second and third leading scorers. Unfortunately for them, they could not get on track in this game to get the easy baskets for them, whether it was threes or something in the mid-range game. You see Bogdanovich, he's out as Malika Andrews told you for the rest of this game. Now you wonder about his availability yes. for the game on Sunday if the Hawks lose. Danny Green is already out. We saw Seth Curry, it's interesting, Seth Curry was holding his left shoulder for a good part of that first quarter, but shook it off and had 24 points, including six threes. I mean, he's had the best series of his career. A big reason why the Sixers are in position here to head back to Philly for game seven. The big thing right now for, uh, for Philadelphia, do not foul a three-point shooter. Do not foul a three-point shooter. Here's Gallinari. They got Simmons on Young. And now Harris. Young. Trying to draw a foul on him. They got to go here. Herter going to try it. Two. It's good. 3.4 left. Three point game. Simmons gets an inbounds to Harris. They got to follow him, and they do with 2.1 left. Again, Atlanta's out of timeouts, so one free throw essentially wins the game here for the Sixers. Yeah, the big main thing there was excellent defense by Philadelphia. Give them a ton of credit. They played all that movement, uh, trying to get open with a little screen. 
dribbling the basketball, and they did not foul anybody. See, this is just great. Okay, the kid, don't stop the clock. And all right, so he makes the shot. The big thing is a three-point game. You make one out of these two, and the game is over. And Harris does. 103-99, Philadelphia. This next free throw will be its 20th attempt of the quarter. They had three total. Until about seven minutes left in the fourth quarter. We're going back to Philly. Tobias Harris gets both free throws, and the Sixers force Game 7. Both series in the Eastern Conference semifinals are headed to a Game 7.